Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Vogue Beauty Secrets because you guys really liked the first one, so I'm going to do another one. I have changed a few things, I guess you could say. Not really though. <clears throat> Sorry. I like just woke up, so my voice hasn't adjusted yet. Um, but yeah, let's get started with the video. I'm going to try to make it as Vogue as possible. And I'm in my workout clothes. Because I want to work out after this. So that's why I'm dressed like this. Which isn't, this is kind of like bad timing because I want to do my makeup to go work out. Anyway, <clears throat> so when I do my makeup, I have my hair up in a little claw clip so it's not in the way. And I'll take it down afterwards. And also, I'm going to be looking down at my phone because the only mirror I have in my room is that. So. I'm gonna be looking at my phone screen right there to look at myself, okay? Okay, so let's get started. I usually don't prime. I've never primed my face. Like I don't use primer. I've never really looked into any good primers. So I'm not really like that knowledge about primers. If I do use anything before, it just depends on like what time of the day I'm doing my makeup. Like right now I just put on my Bliss Vitamin C Serum which I really love and I recommend. And then my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen. That's the only thing that's on my face right now. And water. I washed my face with water this morning. Um, so yeah. You're not gonna see me prime because I don't prime. This is my makeup bag. It doesn't close. Yes, it says my name on it. And Anyway, my friend made it for me. But it doesn't close. So it's kind of like overflowing. And then this is my brushes. But yeah, I literally, ha I have to take my powder out every single time because with the powder in there, it won't close. Anyway, I'm trying to look for my, okay, there it is. So I have been obsessed with this, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter because it like, it makes it like, it gives you bronze like it gives you a little bit of a tan, um, but it doesn't add too much coverage, which is what I like. So I go in with this and then, this is, I got it at Target. And then the Speed Blender also from Target and it's huge. Like it's really big. And I keep looking, like, I look so tan in my phone, but on the camera I don't. It's kind of sad. Anyway, the only thing I don't like about this is the noise. I can't stand it. It's so annoying. So I just put a little bit. Because like I said, it doesn't... <laughs> doesn't add like too much coverage. Just a nice layer. <clears throat> and also, I'm about to see my period. So my skin is kind of breaking out a little bit. It's a little bit extra sensitive right now, so that's great. And I was watching um, Carol G's Vogue makeup get ready with me thing. And she says that she blends from like the outside in, which I've never tried before. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I would try that because it's like... I don't know. I don't really see a difference. Like, I might try it with my concealer. But she says that everything she blends from, like, the outside of her face in. And it gives you, like, a more natural look, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so you got the liquid filter on. I don't know what's wrong with this camera. I'm gonna, like, sit down and, like, investigate it. Anyway. Next. This is a product that I'm, I literally use every single day. You can tell because it's, like, running out a little bit. The Quesos Concealer, I love it so much. And like I've said in many videos, this is like my summer shade. This is my winter shade. They're not that different, but they are, they're pretty different. And that <clears throat> I don't really like, like I like the Fenty one, but I also don't like it at the same time because it's kind of too creamy and it creases under my eyes because every little, every single product creases under my eyes except this one. 
This is the only concealer that I found that doesn't crease. So, yeah. And depending on um, how, like, good or bad my skin is that day, is how much I put on. But I always put it under my eyes, on the sides of my nose, because that's where it's, like, a little bit extra red. On my chin, and then anywhere else I didn't need it, which I think just here. Yeah. <clears throat> and I also broke it. I broke it. Like, it's, like, kind of shattered on the side because I dropped it. Anyway, and for concealer, I think you should use a mini or like a little beauty blender because if you use a big one, it doesn't really get into those small creases that you need to get to like on the side of your nose or like right under your eye. It's kind of harder to do that with a big concealer or a big beauty blender. So use a little one. I promise it'll change your life. And also what I do is I like drag it off or up a little bit to kind of go like snatch your face up. I think it works. Or what I actually do when I'm going to do like stage makeup, which is like a lot more intense. I use the darker one on the inside and then I use a lighter one on the outside. And that like kind of snatches you up more. I don't know. That's just what I do. Maybe... Give it a try. See if it works for you. I don't know. Alright, next step. The Rare Beauty Blush. I love this blush. It's amazing. Amazing. And I have it in the shade Hope. I haven't tried any other shade. This is just the first one I ever bought. And I'm going to use it till it runs out because there's a lot of product in here. And there's you only use like a small amount so it lasts you a while. And also I was seeing a TikTok that like, it has like a little heart in the applicator, but there's so much product on it, like I can't see. I'd have to clean it out one day. But yeah, when I want more blush, I'll put a little bit more, but like on a regular basis, on my everyday routine, I only put a little bit. That's all I use. And then I'm also, <clears throat> sorry guys, my voice is like gone. When I do my balance, this isn't my like everyday makeup because I my everyday makeup is just concealer and blush because I go to ballet every day. But I'm on spring break right now so I can like take it to another level kind of. Um, because I don't like using a lot of makeup for ballet because I'm just going to be sweating. So there's not a point in doing it, you know? Because like... I'm just gonna like, when you sweat your pores open and I don't want that makeup to like seep into my pores and it like get stuck there. Cause I have really good like pores. Like they're not open so you can't really see, you can't see them, which is really nice. Um, but I would like to keep it that way. So I try to protect my pores as much as possible. <laughs> that sounds so weird. But yeah. And then if I have any leftover, I bring it onto my nose. Okay. Next is contour. So next time I go to the store, I'm going to get like a liquid contour. Because I don't really like the powder one. Because everything on my face is so like dewy and like nice. And then I just put powder. I don't... <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> and I don't really think that works. So... Oh, I got it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just use like a small, if I can find it, a small brush. And I just use it. This is the e.l.f. palette. I just use the two darkest shades. And go a little bit up. And I like take this one, I take it up onto the sides of my face like that and then I like to do it as close to my hairline as possible um I don't know I think it just looks better in my opinion but yeah I would like to try like people are gonna like 
I think this one just, it just depends on your opinion, but people are going to hate. Because I've already seen a lot of hate about this comment that I'm about to make on TikTok. So, I want to get like a concealer just in the darkest shade or in a darker shade so I can use it as my contour. But people are like, you're taking girls whose shade actually like is that and you're selling them out because of the Alex Earl thing. But like, I'm sorry, I just want to try it. But I don't think that's happening anymore because people are kind of getting over Alex Earl. Not really though. She's still like blowing up. Um, but yeah, I take the contour on the sides of my jawline and like close to my ear. And then I also like do it down the center. Like that, just bring it all down. So like it doesn't look like you have like a tan body and then it's just your face or like a light body and then just too much. It's too harsh. So like blend it down. My ears are usually like they usually tan so I don't really have to worry about my ears. But I know some people whose ears are like really really pale compared to the rest of their body. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Anyway, so I don't know how to contour my nose so we're going to skip that step because... I don't know how to do it, so, um, for eyes, I don't really do anything, what I do do, what I, what I do do is get a palette, someone got this for me, for my, my secret Santa got this for me, and it's the nudes by, I'm not gonna try to say that, but the colors are really pretty, and I like the colors, so I take this brown, and I just put it in my crease and just kind of blend it in a little bit. And I feel like it makes your eyes blend in with the rest of your face because your eyelids are a lot paler than your face just because when you tan, you're not tanning your eyelids. So I feel like you need to put a little bit of eyeshadow to have it all blended nicely. I'm gonna get another brush so I can blend better. To have it all blended nicely. Um, that's one of my beauty secrets. Just put it in your crease. All right, for my Favorite step, eyelashes. I absolutely love curling my lashes. It's my favorite step and I can't go without it. Like, I can leave my house with no concealer, no lip gloss, no nothing on my face. My lashes need to be curled. That's all I'm saying. So for my, like, on an everyday basis, I do not wear mascara. I just curl my lashes and I brush them with well if i can find it. oh nope i lost it hold on anyway i just brush them i do not wear mascara because i think mascara makes my lashes fall and also if it's a good mascara it obviously won't but i just don't like wearing mascara for my for ballet because i'm gonna sweat and it looks like i'm gonna be crying the mascara is gonna drip down my face so i don't like that and I don't like waterproof mascara because it's too difficult to take off. So I double curl the lashes just to really make them look good. So I take a little brush. It's for your eyebrows, but I use it for my eyelashes and my eyebrows. And I just brush them. And then brush these. <clears throat> okay. And the mascara that I just recently bought. When I was in Nashville, I traveled to Nashville for a ballet competition. I did not bring mascara on the plane with me. So I had to buy one at a Target in Nashville. And I got the Sky High mascara from Maybelline. Because I usually use the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Or the Lancome mascara. And I like them, but I want to give this one a shot. Because I liked how they looked the day that I did them, so... I'm gonna 
be more consistent with it. So I start from the bottom up, try to get really in there, and also do the corners, because the corners is what matters. One tip that I, that I did like from Carol's G video is that to really get in the corners, she looks the opposite direction, like so she's trying to do over here, she'll look in the opposite direction so she can really get in there. And I think that's kind of smart. But yeah, I try to go like from the root up. And they look good. So, like, look at that difference. I'm just saying. This is my worst eye. Um, because the lashes like won't grow sorry i forgot to blend something over here and i just noticed that but yeah the lashes just like won't grow right there so they're my bad lashes but it's fine we still make them work look how good they look okay and then i also To the bottom ones like i really am liking this mascara let me zoom this out a little bit because it's a little too close all right for eyebrows i don't really do anything i just get eyebrow gel and brush them i don't like fill them in or anything Like that and then I leave like the tops a little bit hairy just because I like that okay and then we have the lips so for my lips I use the Tarte Marajuku in the shade Orchid and then I also go in with Too Faced Lip Injection, Maximum Plump, and the shade Creme Brulee. Because these two, the colors, are the closest match. So, that's what I do. I really recommend this. It's like so freaking nice. It's amazing. And then with the Limp Plumper, I only line the outside of my lips. Because then I feel like it plumps better. So if you have this, I think you guys should give that a shot. Alright guys, so that was my Vogue Beauty Secrets video. Let me get a little closer so you can really see everything. Um, I let my hair down so you can get the better effect i love my new hair i just cut it go check out that video anyway if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below what video you guys want me to do next because i'm running out of ideas guys so help me out help me out